again to my live videos in my RV and um, I figured I would bring you guys in and we can hang out for a while and if you've got you know RV living questions, RV travel questions I can answer those um, or um, as sometimes happens we can just talk about whatever uh, so what I'm doing right now is I'm going to bring up the video so that I can see the comments. The video. Oops, I can hear myself. So you'll have to excuse the uh, the, the very tall angle. Um, I have ordered a, a tripod that will hold my phone. Um, so the next live video I will definitely have that. Uh, but for now I've got these uh, squeezy things on there. <laughs> holding my phone onto the tripod so anyway welcome everybody Tess from Montreal Canada hi Doug welcome back Josh um, so uh, Bill says what's going on while well, we're doing a live video I I've actually got to do some uh, I gotta make the dogs food for tomorrow morning so I thought, okay, well, I'll bring you guys on. We can chat. So we're having a live video. Hello, Mike and Diane in Virginia. Good evening, Fred. So uh, thank you guys. Um, I've uh, I've been doing these live videos with, uh, you know, making dinner or breakfast. But um, darn it, I think the phone is sliding backwards and it's, it's a pain in the, dang it. Man, this is so hard because it's like balancing. Uh-oh. Oh, shoot. All right. Now I'm in trouble because it's hard to get this to stick. Uh-oh. Oh, no. <laughs> this is why you need a thing. I'm sorry, you guys. This is... This is what happens when you do do uh, all the production yourself. Shoot. All right. I am not sure how to get this balanced again. Darn it. Anyway, for anybody jumping on, I am so sorry. My, my tripod thing is not working. Shoot. All right. We got a little bit of a balance. I just... Uh, okay, oh my gosh, okay, it's stuck. <laughs> I will try to not move the ground because uh, it's really balancing on there. So, anyway, um, well, welcome. And uh, I'm about, I gotta make my dog's food for tomorrow. And I thought, hey, if you want, you can join me. We can have uh, discussions. Positive dedication says your RV decor looks stellar, opulent, high end, superb. Yeah, so uh, this was my um, upgrade from my 1992 Bounder that I was in for uh, like four or five years before that. So uh, let's see. Sometimes it it's it doesn't show other other uh, comments, so I have to like okay them. Paul, oh, you got your camping, uh, 100K Camping Club hoodie. Awesome! You should send me a picture so I can put it in a video. <laughs> Charles, yeah, so I was just saying, so if you jumped on and you might be lucky that you missed the, the tripod balancing, my phone is balancing on the handle of the tripod with one of these. <laughs> I have ordered a new squeezy thing that plugs into the tripod um, and uh, that I'll have that for the next video but uh, this video and the last one I've had to use these guys <laughs> so so anyway <laughs> yeah Fred says this is the pippy roller coaster video effect <laughs> okay so I have so I make the dogs um, not their main food, but I make them something that's kind of like a snack or an uh, appetizer. And they get that. And then 
I don't I don't try to fill them up on that because I want them to eat their kibble so but so that's what I'm making tonight is that stuff that's uh, it's their uh, special treat and now they're spoiled totally ruined that they need to have you know beef and rice in the morning and in the evening He says, Pegasus have wings, unicorns only have the horn. Well, here's something, Jason. What do you think about the, uh, what about horned unicorns? What about, no, what about winged unicorns? Is that a Pegasus or is that a winged unicorn? <laughs> so figure that one out. All right, so let's get this going. So do you guys have any uh, RV questions or what are your what are your RV plans right now? Hey Eric from College Station. <laughs> oh Jason, you're gonna have to think on that one. Because or does you somebody could even argue to a very ridiculous extent. Are there even <laughs> winged unicorns? I mean, if they're all fictional, right? Do they have different names? And a Patreon, <laughs> what does that mean? PPR says, am I currently traveling? No, I'm not uh, traveling right now. So when I look here, I'm actually looking at the comments. Um, as some people ask, even though I, I'm talking to the screen, uh, it is live and so is the chat. So when you have the chat open, and you can't see the chat on things like Apple TV or you know some of these other ones, I, I guess you can't see them. Maybe on mobile, like, maybe you can't see the chat. But on a desktop, you can see the chat. And so um, I, that's where I... You know talk with you guys so if you want jump on the chat and uh, all right we're we are on a Pegasus and unicorn kick this evening because there's a lot of talk about uh, unicorns and Pegasus so far welcome Tom from Ohio I know Tess so when I got Pearl uh, from her foster mom that fostered her before I adopted her uh, she would they would be able to free feed on kibble, but they got almost a full meal of of uh, whatever chicken, pork, beef, carrots, you know, I mean, you know, rice, beef stroganoff. I mean, all this sort of stuff. Because uh, she she's you know retired and older, and so she just kind of took care of the dogs. And so when I got Pearl, uh, I had a really hard time getting her to eat so I kind of had to spoil them and uh, so they that's they get this uh, beef and uh, uh, rice mix and I used to get what am I looking for lit I used to get the rice aroni and then I, I would just have the rice aroni with the beef but that's like really hard to come by now because of you know all the panic buying. So now I just have a lot of rice and I put in some uh, beef bouillon. In fact, another thing that I just ordered is like a really large thing of, of bouillon. So 
so this is what I've been using, but they go through it so quick because I make so much rice. Um, so I got like an enormous thing of this. So that'll be convenient. And then uh, this is only a portion of the rice just because we go through it so quick. Yeah, so when all that panic buying ha happened, I was like, oh my gosh, what am I going to make for the dogs? Because, you know, they eat rice and the beef and... Um, so, but it all worked out. So we will get the back burner going. So if you're not familiar with cooking with a uh, pressure cooker, they're really awesome. You can cook, you know, like beans and lentils and uh, roasts and stuff really, really fast. Uh, actually, uh, what most people know now is the, uh, what do you call those? Instapot. Okay, but the Instapot, excuse me, is electric, and then these are just, uh, you power it on, <laughs> on heat, right? Okay, so that beef is going. Let's check the comments. Uh, Talk for Alt says, uh, what's in the pot? So I'm making, for those that are just jumping on, I make food for my dogs, so I'm getting another batch going because um, they just finished. Uh, what I had made this evening. So I'm making more uh, ground beef and rice. That's what I make for them. Uh, and then for those people who are like, well, there's not enough vitamins. I, they have free range feed on kibble. And um, then I give this kind of as an appetizer because they're spoiled and I can't help it. <laughs> Hello, LaDonna. Somebody says I look like Gina Davis. I have heard that before. Alan, is it time to get back in the market? I'm not sure what you're talking about. Let's see. Daryl, yes, I cut my hair. It was really long for like a long time, like, you know, down to here. And I cut it, it you know, I, I, I cut it like a little less than a year ago. And it's just really nice not having like long hair, you know, that gets stuck in seat belts and <laughs> your clothes and all that sort of stuff. So I have been enjoying shorter hair, a lot less maintenance. Um, hey James, welcome. Nice, Dari Darius is uh, saying hello from Mexico. Hello. I pulled teeth out weeks ago. What? <laughs> Lusty, isn't it past your bedtime? Aren't you in, uh, aren't you in England? I, you know, I, I think you might be. I'm not sure. Let's see. The pressure gets rid of lectins and other anti-nutrients and cheaper too. Yeah. Yeah, the pressure cooker is pretty cool. Uh, Miss Diane, uh, 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 no, we have not sold it yet. We're still working on it and we've had some major progress lately So it's very very exciting and I do have a video coming up for you guys with the recent updates By the way, I also have a video coming up of uh, some other RV repairs that I'm in the midst of working on so um, So stay tuned for those. Oh Drummer says hello from Sublimity. Hello um, Let's see it's not I'm awake. All right. I have not been to Fossil Rim. I, I, I'm thinking that's in Texas because you said you're in Texas. Thank you, Steve. Uh, Josh says, what's a Greyhound favorite car? A Zamboni. I'm not sure why. <laughs> Wouldn't it be like something fast? Zamboni is like as slow as it goes. All right, let me uh, get the rice going. So if you're just jumping on, welcome. I am uh, making, uh, I make my dog's food, so I'm preparing the new batch because tomorrow they'll need more. So get that going. And it's been really hot here. The AC is turning on and off, so 
Um, I don't know how the audio is, but if you hear it turn on or like a rumbling, that's the, the AC. It's off right now. So this is the rice for them. Uh, Josh says, how's the Ram Ben? It's been great. I've, if you haven't seen, I've done a couple videos lately of some truck maintenance. So definitely check those out. If you have a, a diesel, definitely check those out. Because you should be maintaining your diesel. Especially if you're on the road traveling, relying on your engine and stuff. Guten Abend! From Oklahoma. I was going to say, it's a little later than oven. Looks like a good dinner. Josh, Joshua Langford, we are making actually dog food. <laughs> We're making um, uh, ground beef and rice. So uh, making that for the dogs actually. But I do eat some of the rice when it comes out usually. Because I put in... Uh, uh, bouillon, so I put in some stock to flavor it. Scamper Camper, have I finished the remodel in the house? No. <laughs> it's taking its time, but we're having some major progress, and that's very exciting. Uh, like I just said, if uh, you weren't on, uh, I will have an updated video for you um, soon. on that along with other videos I've got coming I've got some RV stuff I've got some uh, uh, battery power stuff let's see is that number four I think that's number four and um, some fixes so I'm in the midst of doing a bunch of different stuff quicker man did you just come on I just gave the update on the house uh, it's, it's we're still working on it but uh, moving along nicely very exciting um, so all is good. Yeah, David says, Instant Pot works great on rice as well. Absolutely. Daryl, have not cut any trees down lately, unless you saw that most recent, not most recent, um, more recent. I can't remember how many videos back it was. Hello from an RV park in Arkansas. Hello, GW. Welcome. From an RV park in Texas. <laughs> All right, so we'll get the flavor. So I put the the bouillon flavor in the rice, and that that just give it's not plain, right? Then it's got a little bit of like seasoning on it. And the dogs love it. And yeah, you know, this has salt, so it's not great for their kidneys and stuff. But uh, they're 10 years old and, you know, they like their flavored rice. So, life is short. Can a dog eat bouillon flavored rice for four years? Yes. Maybe not even, so... Let's see. I don't know how to pronounce your name, if that's your real name. Sheraton, hello from Denmark. That's awesome. Thank you for watching. Steve, thank you so much for your super chat. Um, it must be really late in uh, Denmark. Seven hours, so it's 9, 10, 11, 12, 1, 2, 3, 4. It's 4 in the morning. Are you up early or are you up late? <laughs> Hello from a vintage class A, says South Bay Tech. 4.30, yeah, 4.30 in the morning. Josh says, would I upgrade to the 2020 Super Duty truck next? Well, why not? Aside from cost. <laughs> 
So since I've been, uh, let's see, I need to keep an eye on this because I have to do the timer. Uh, so when that thing comes up, I have to turn the timer on. Oh, let me turn the heat on. Yeah, since I've been parked for a while, I've been driving my, my big dually around as my main transportation. So that's been a little inconvenient, um, but, uh, but it's working fine and, uh, you know, I'll figure something out, see how things go. All right. So we got the rice going and the beef going. Thank you, Michael, for, uh, for enjoying the channel. Yeah, new rams are very expensive to maintain, I bet. I mean, uh, yeah, I can imagine that. Hello from Mount Shasta. Oh, cool. Nuke Nomad says, hello from Mount Shasta. Want to see some orb pics? So, if you're not familiar, uh, Mount Shasta... Uh, okay, let me set my... Oh, shoot! My alarm's on my phone. Okay, let me just check the time. It's 9.31... So, 10 minutes, so it, oh, let me do this, 15, so, 40, so, okay, 9.45, I got to, uh, check the, will somebody remind me <laughs> at, uh, in about 15, 10, 15 minutes, I have to check the beef. Anyway, Mount Shasta, uh, often has, uh, we call it, like, sightings, you know, of, of whatever, you know, different kind of things, sightings around the mountain. So they have the big mountain there, Mount Shasta, and uh, there's a lot of interesting sightings, and people have said there's like Bigfoot sightings and, you know, UFO kind of stuff. Excuse me, so it's a really interesting area in that sense. Um, uh, anyway, I have never seen anything there. I've stayed there a couple times actually. Uh, not specifically to see if there was anything I could see, but Larry says, hello from St. George. I'm guessing that's in Utah, maybe. Hello back. Thank you for watching. Mega says, I like coffee with my meal. I like coffee, too. Snarfy is in Arizona. Oh, man. You know, sometimes I miss Arizona, the, you know, the sunsets, and Arizona's a really... Kind of a magical, different sort of place. So, we need to invent smell of vision. Yeah, so there's no smell yet, um, but both the rice with the bouillon and the beef is going to start smelling really soon. Let's see. Any news work? Are you going back? Um, if you're referring to, uh, so if you don't know, I'm on hold. Man, I just missed it by like days. I was getting hired to work as a camp host, uh, and then the virus stuff happened. So uh, I've just been on hold, and um, I've, te or I've emailed to say like, when is it opening up? You know, what's the new latest news? And uh, there's no latest news. They're just aware. You know, that's basically what they say. So I've got my fingers crossed that uh, the campsite will open again, or, you know, the camp host position, and I can move over there and uh, start working as a host. Um, so I got my fingers crossed on that, that they're not going to change. Okay, actually, I need to mark 10 minutes from now. So 34. Okay, so 44. Um, so, anyway, UFOs are the Asgard, Hogwarts is a magical place. Okay, we've got an interesting conversation going on this evening because if you're just joining, we have already talked about, <laughs> really randomly, unicorns versus pegasus versus, uh, horned, winged unicorns or, or, you know, anyway, all that sort of stuff. Now we're talking about UFOs, Hogwarts. So, uh, um, so Top for Alt says, do you think UFOs are real? So here's my question back, 
or the thing that I would think about is um, certainly, uh, certainly there are some that are absolutely fake, uh, you know, um, created, you know, digitally, but with all of the footage of the accounts of all of that, all you need is one to be right, one to be true, and that would mean that there there are. So, uh, uh, statistically speaking, yes, I would think so because uh, the possibility is more greater. I mean, it's just so great that um, great, as in like you know, the possibility is high, likely that at least one of these sightings or accounts or videos is true and then there's also the um just the possibility of it existing in the universe is also very very likely with trillions of planets you know um just in this one galaxy and we're not the only galaxy so um, so, yeah, absolutely, I think that's very, very likely. And I have actually seen, I've had my own accounts that I would never try to, uh, uh, you know, make anybody believe or whatever, but especially living in Arizona, it's kind of like a hot spot like Mount Shasta, there's some weird stuff that, that you see, um, and I did see something, let's see, was it 2005? Okay, so it, I think it was like the years of 2000, or 1997 or 98, and then 2005 they had the very famous and, uh, you know, uh, well-documented, uh, it's called Lights Over Phoenix. And for 2005 I was there, and I saw some stuff myself um, that happened on the same night that other people saw stuff. So I don't know. I don't know what it was. <laughs> um, and then I've seen some other random stuff. So, you know, I don't know what it is. You know, I can't say. I, I just absolutely have no idea. So, but I know I saw something, you know, I don't know government could be you know i just don't know okay i am missing the chat here <laughs> let's see it's going let's see yeah gw says um uh of all the galaxies why should we be the only inhabited intelligent planet it's true i mean it's not necessarily why should we but the chances are just so in the favor of that there, that there has to be other stuff going on. No, not has to, that's not the right word, but anyway. Odds favor aliens, but could they travel all the way here? Or would they even want to, considering what a mess we are? <laughs> well, that's a good question, that's a good question. Uh, welcome from Washington State. Currently thunderstorms in Washington. Uh, yeah, absolutely. Thunderstorms in your RV are pretty wild, especially uh, here in Texas. You know, they get these thunderstorms in the springtime and like tornadoes and stuff. And uh, there's been several thunderstorms here. And I filmed one once because it was supposed to be like, um, I don't know, golf ball size hail. And so I filmed it just in case I needed to report to my insurance, you know, make a claim. Um, but it actually, like, shifted its pattern last minute. So I was lucky to dodge that one. But when there's a thunderstorm here, I'm watching to, to my radar, you know, on the phone. Um, I use the app. There's many apps. But I use... Uh, uh, it's getting late. <laughs> what is it called? Anyway, I use an app with radar and I watch for um, spinning, you know, spinning radar like if, if a tornado is beginning. Because it's a little freaky. I mean, you don't want to be in an RV 
um, <laughs> in a in a in a tornado. <laughs> Let's see, Edward, you sent me a comment on UFO sighting a couple months ago. I don't actually recall that, so I would be interesting. I would be interested to read that. If we were not lucky, we wouldn't be here. Well, that's true, I'd say too. Improbable things happen all the time when the numbers are huge. Yeah, Melissa says, times like that, happy to not be in an airstream. Yeah, you don't want to be in an airstream in a hailstorm, right? I mean, I, I I get freaked out just, you know, my truck or, you know, the fifth wheel, the, the ceilings of the slides. And uh, I haven't been in um, too much hail yet, you know, significant hail. So... All right, Ellen says, I forget, I have to kind of keep remembering that many people come and go. So uh, what I am making is a dog, I, I make my dog's food, not the main course, but just something to kind of get their appetite going. So I'm doing a new batch of um, uh, beef and rice. So I've got the beef in the pressure cooker, and I'm kind of trying to lean forward to talk because it might be a little noisy. Uh, and then I've got the rice going. The beef is done. Yeah, I'm looking at the time. It says 42, so I'm going to wait, I think, until like 45. So I got like three more minutes. Thank you for... Uh, Barlail, thank you for reminding me that. Check the rice. I need to check the rice too. Okay, so I hope you guys can hear because the air conditioner just turned on. It's kind of a hot evening. And well, it's only 78 outside, but it's 77 in here and I got the stove on. Um, so with the air conditioner going and the pressure cooker going, tch, 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 <laughs> I'm trying to like talk loud. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, Ian, it is a pressure cooker. I also have flashbacks. My mom used to make beef stroganoff in the pressure cooker. She, you know, cut up the beef and make those in the pressure cooker. Loved it. Huh. I love that, my D. Michael. Don't forget the kimchi. I love kimchi. Huh. Yeah, I wonder if uh, uh, cooking, um, Ian says, so did mine, my mom make, um, um, what were we just talking about? <laughs> what is that dish? Anyway, it must have been a thing back then. <laughs> John, I, I work. I, I work and that I don't have my family funding me. <laughs> JB Bloom says, um, you're my favorite YouTube. I'm thinking about going from a fifth wheel to a class A. Okay, so let's talk about going from fifth wheel to class A. If you're going to be traveling mostly, uh, or frequently, often, and you like the idea of um, staying, you know, shorter time periods, definitely uh, going from fifth wheel to class day is a great idea. If you want to be more um, hanging out for longer periods of time or uh, not relying on overnights and parking lots, uh, then uh, then go with the fifth wheel option. But the Class A is great for overnights and parking lots because uh, it's a little freaky to be in your fifth wheel in a parking lot like overnight because you don't have control of, like you can't just get up and drive away. You have to go out of your RV and then get in the truck. So you're kind of, when you're in a, in a Class A or C or B, <laughs> uh, 
you can, uh, you're like in the driver's area, right? You don't have to go outside to do that. So um, that's a great reason for uh, class A versus fifth wheel. Uh, another one is um, if you're just driving more, it's a little less cumbersome to get your class A going. Um, however, with the class A, then you need to probably have a tow vehicle so you can get around unless you're going to drive your class a around you know which might be inconvenient so let's say you get to a park and then you want to go out for dinner you don't want to get to a park set up your rv then you know go out to dinner in your rv and then come back and park your rv so those are some things to think about oh thank you all right uh, All right, rice is doing good. This is gonna be really noisy for a second. Ouch, that's hot. I gotta let the steam off. Okay, it's gonna be noisy, noisy for a second. Yes, thank you guys for reminding me about the checking the food. Josh says, what would I want to do if no work? Well, um, I, I do several things. So, uh, so I have started uh, doing more bookkeeping and I've brought on kind of my first client with this uh, uh, venture. Uh, I was doing bookkeeping for like seven years before and I was doing that on the road. But it wasn't my only, uh, it wasn't my only role. In fact, it was never my primary role or the way that I started. Uh, but I started kind of reassessing um, my life plan and um, then I started taking some accounting classes to like uh, back up you know the bookkeeping that I was doing so I've actually started doing that um, uh, and I'm very excited about it because it's something that you know can be long term and it can be in any sort of capacity like part-time full-time work for myself, work for a CPA, work for a business. Um, so it's much more versatile, flexible, and long-term. <laughs> so that's what I'm doing, what I've been doing, but just not focused on that. And uh, uh, yeah, so, so anyway, by the way, if you need a bookkeeper, uh, I will be adding new clients. So. You really need about like 20 clients, you know, to make it a uh, uh, sustainable, like regular career. And I have one. <laughs> well, I have the other two, but after two months, uh, uh, we got the, the PPP, the Paycheck Protection uh, Program because of the virus. So we got two months, but we might not be able to keep going. So at this point, I don't know if I'm going to have three or if I'm gonna have one client um, anyway so I I am looking for new clients to do bookkeeping for uh, so if you know anybody who owns a business or if you own a business I would be happy to do your books <laughs> all right Okay, I'm trying to keep up with these. Somebody says I'm making them hangry. All right. I'm gonna open this. I need to test the temperature of the... I like to make sure that um, I've got the right temperature. Oh, 
We'll see what temperature it's at. 133 so far. Sometimes I don't leave it on long enough and then I have to uh, start the pressure again. <laughs> oh, Luis says, uh, first watch you when I did the end of life video with Andy Almo. Hey, Steve from New England. It's 2 in the afternoon. Perfect timing for you, right? Here it's uh, almost 10 p.m. Oh, you know, thank you for uh, noting that. I got somebody says I scared him by dragging this probably a little close to the, the burner. Yeah, I should, uh, I will be careful of that. Thank you for thinking of that. A positive dedication says, what state am I in right now? I am in northern Texas, enjoying dodging tornadoes in the spring weather. I've actually loved the thunderstorms. And it's so funny because uh, you think it's like hot, right? And it is. Um, but then it's not actually that hot. It's not hot compared to Arizona, but it is humid. Uh, uh, but the surprising thing is... Um, after a storm passes, it brings in, I don't know, high pressure, low pressure, whatever, and it cools off like quite a bit. So just the other day, after all these, you know, days in the 80s, high 70s, um, I had to bring my jacket out of the closet again and put that on. Richard says, hello from Corpus Christi, hello. Yeah, just wait till August, I know, right? <laughs> Uh, Victoria, the dogs are doing great. Um, I would turn the camera. Uh, if you're just logging in now, if you're coming in now, you're lucky because you missed the fiasco with the camera falling off the tripod. Um, because I, I, it's, I'm using these little things right now. If I had my regular thing, which is in the mail, coming to me right now, um, I could take the camera off and show you but because it's balancing um, I I can't show you the dogs but they're right here you know laying on their sides like this um, kind of cooling off from we had a, a, a dog walk earlier and um, they're still kind of warm I'm still kind of warm from it let me see what this is great I missed the temperature on this is it only that It's saying 145, but maybe I do need to cook it a little longer. Yeah, I think I'll cook it a little longer for them. For those of you who are just joining, I am making uh, beef in the in the pressure cooker and rice. I make this for the dogs, so I've got a new batch coming up for tomorrow morning. Alright, I, I think I need to put this back on, unfortunately, a little bit longer. Alright, where is my thing? I'll turn the rice down. Yep. Okay. We're doing good. Thomas, I am cooking uh, uh, beef, ground, ground beef and rice for the dogs. But sometimes I eat the rice too. <laughs> dogs eat steak and potatoes. They love steak and potatoes, that's for sure. Mike Colsar, um, I'm not done, we're not done doing the house yet, but we've made some great progress. And I've got a video coming up on that for you guys very soon. Uh, yes, so GW, the dogs uh, do get uh, home-cooked stuff, not as their main food, but kind of like an appetizer. And because I've started doing that, I cannot stop because <laughs> they, they need to have that. <laughs> uh, 
All right, let's see. Say Moya says, say hey if you see this. I see it. This is live, which is kind of scary sometimes. <laughs> All right, I missed some of the conversation. It's moving a little quickly. So, uh, yeah, there is um, uh, a lot of people interested in on how the house progress is going. I'm pretty excited. So today, um, today I didn't go because uh, I had to do some other work, uh, the bookkeeping stuff. <laughs> Um, but today we got the, the drain, okay, uh, today was the day to use the jackhammer. <laughs> it was a good day for me to miss. <laughs> um, so the, it, the cement is jackhammered to install the drain from the tub in the hall bath. So that's all ready to go. Um, so that's a huge step uh, to have that all ready for tub whenever we get whenever we get that going all right let me go back down because now i'm missing the new ones and uh so somebody says how's your quarantine <laughs> i guess it's uh honestly it's it's not very different from my regular life i am not the most um social person and i do like to do my work so i've got plenty to do um, and I work from home so it's kind of not not much of a change and we're allowed to work on the house so uh, I've been working um, the bookkeeping stuff and um, videos here and there and then uh, working on the house so mega triumph my fifth wheel is 35 feet long so Uh, Richard says, how is my mental state with the quarantine? Well, um, since <laughs> my life isn't very different, uh, I only just kind of hear about it or s hear other people's uh, stuff. Um, but, uh, okay, Charles, thank you for stopping in. We will see you later. Uh, no. <laughs> So I have to remember that you guys like come and go probably every five minutes. So for anybody who stayed on the whole video, I'm sorry that so many people ask the same questions because, uh, uh, you know, people might only stand for like five minutes. So um, somebody is, again says, <laughs> did we sell a house? Another house update? No, you'll have to watch the previous uh, beginning of the video. Um, we're still working on it, but it's going well. I don't know what the name is, uh, the, or the inspiration is, I have not ever thought to ask. Am I terrified of... Oh! Jason says, I see what you're talking about. <laughs> so sometimes I'm not sure if like people are just being like perverts or whatever. <laughs> but um, uh, Jason is asking about... Uh, grinders. I was like, ah, let me just ignore that comment. But he's asking because I cut my leg uh, with a grinder. And um, now I know. So um, I'm not afraid of them. I've used them uh, quite a bit since. Um, and uh, I don't know, I don't know if you can see this in the video. Let's see, it's right here. Yeah. Can you see it? The, the purple line? <laughs> It's a big purple line now. <laughs> have you ever been in an Airstream? Yes, I have been in Airstreams. They remind me of um, like surgical stations, you know, they're very white and metal. <laughs> but, uh, you know, they got their charm. <laughs> okay, I'm hearing this going. Um, let me double check this. All right, the rice is done. I'm going to turn that off that. So I've got the, if you're just jumping on and making the beef and rice for the dogs. 
Will I get to see my family soon? Oh, well, you know what? Here's something that did affect me with the quarantine. Is my mom was going to come down, uh, I think, last weekend. But uh, they, they had to cancel the flight. Um, so she's, so now she's coming down in Christmas. <laughs> so that's like a long time to push your flight back. But instead of pushing it back a month and then maybe a change, you know, being canceled again, uh, they just decided to push it back to Christmas. I have never owned my own house. No, I have not. Um, but I have dreams of doing so. <laughs> yeah, so Mega Triumph, this is a, it's probably a medium sized fifth wheel because they make some that are like 45. I've seen, I think I've even, there's definitely 46 and there may even be like 48, 48 feet. So, uh, uh, there's definitely some bigger ones, and absolutely there's some smaller ones, too. <laughs> Junior, I've never been to Brazil. Wouldn't that be amazing to go there, especially during a uh, carnival? Yeah, Matt D says, quarantine is messing everybody up, sadly. Very sad. Uh, because, uh, I mean, people are just losing businesses left and right, and, uh, you know, historical businesses that are, like, almost 100 years old, you know, just going under, and the, the company that I was, uh, for almost nine years have been contracting for, um, if something doesn't happen in the next two months that we got this PPP, the Paycheck Protection, uh, that that will also so it is affecting me in that way and it's also affecting me in the host position that I was trying to get at the campground is now uh, you know they're closed so I'm crossing my fingers that when they open again I can still get that job um, especially with uh, the other the other one that I've been contracting for may be going under Oh man, Matt D says, I lost my business and overall 70% of our income. Yeah, I know. It sucks. <laughs> I mean, it just absolutely sucks. It's just ruined. It's absolutely ruined so much. Did I ever leave campsite because of a lousy neighbor? Uh... I can't think of one, but I've certainly had lousy neighbors. Um, yeah, I don't think I've mo I've left, but I've certainly moved around, you know. Hello from Saudi Arabia, Asha. Hello, thank you for watching. James says he's thinking of starting a business. Well, it's definitely a. a, a, a quite a time to start one but hey I'm starting my own bookkeeping business so go for it right I mean uh, if you can hello from Puerto Rico oh man yeah uh, I, I think it's been almost three years at this Christmas when I when I was in Puerto Rico last uh, talk for all says which state would you say is the friendliest I don't know if I can answer that. Uh, I don't know if I can even answer that. Not because, uh, I mean, it just depends, right? In the South, they say there's like the Southern um, hospitality, um, but then there's jerks in the South too. Um, and then also there's another saying that the farther North you go, the nicer people get. So, I mean, I don't, I don't know. Um, maybe, maybe not New York or California. I don't, I don't know. I love California. Uh, Lusty Love says, I wanted to become a Canadian. And then I, <laughs> something, I know you're making a joke. I think I'm missing it. <laughs> Thiras 
Is that your name? He says, can you say my name? AZ says, am I a gamer at all? <laughs> well, um, I, I, I have, uh, yes, I do play some video games, um, but I haven't for quite a while. I think my favorite is, uh, um, PlayStation, um, uh, my all-time favorite is, uh, Horizon Zero Dawn. <laughs> I think that was absolutely my favorite. Um, but then I play, like, sometimes games on my phone and, um, you know, little not in-depth things. Uh, Luis, did I ever get another dog? Um, so Luis says he joined the channel after seeing the end of life video for Andiamo. Um, yes, I did. Uh, six months after Andiamo passed away, I adopted a retired greyhound. And then a year after that, I adopted another retired greyhound. So I have two greyhounds. I've had them for, um, uh, three and a half and two and a half years now. I think that's the time period. Um, so if you watch some of my other videos, you'll definitely see a lot of greyhounds and uh, running greyhounds and stuff. So uh, check those out. So uh, yeah, Colorado's very friendly too. Um, I mean, you know, I think uh, I'd say I see people in the U.S. are actually pretty friendly. So, yeah, yeah, Canadians are, Canadians are like maybe even the most nicest, I don't know. <laughs> Thank you, AZ, for the, for the super chat, I appreciate that. Have I gotten to see my brother and his family? Um, no, but, uh, not because of the quarantine, just because I've been busy. In fact, my brother said he wanted to come up and see the house. Um, he hasn't seen the house yet, but, uh. Oh, I just got busy. Yeah, thank you, Kevin, for yeah. That was a uh, that was a hard video to make. Okay, let me. Uh, it's getting late, and I feel like I'm like just chatting, and then I and then I remember, oh wow, there's like a lot of people watching, and um, I feel like I should be paying attention, but. Um, you guys are getting the real uh, subdued me, and I'm trying to also think about the food I'm making too. So I'm a little, I'm a little half brain right now. Okay, Simoya, thank you for watching. I appreciate that. Irish pub people are the friendliest. I can imagine that. Now, talk for all. Are you? Is that not um, uh, Norwegian? Are you Irish? Okay, let me check this. What am I doing? So I don't burn myself. I burned myself on the last one. Too far to read the comments. <laughs> Everybody's dropping off. Yes, Canadians are very friendly, eh? You know who also say A is, uh... No, they say yeah. Australians, they say yeah at the end. Canadians are like, blah, 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 A, eh? And then Australians are like, blah, 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 yeah? <laughs> I think it's yeah. <laughs> I appreciate that, Kevin. <laughs> he says, even half-brained, you're still better than most whole people. <laughs> um, Matt, how long have I played the piano? Um, I took lessons growing up for 13 years, and then I didn't really play after that, um, you know, just kind of here and there. And uh, uh, aside from that time I played for you guys, um, I haven't, I, I don't really play very often. Awesome. Thanks, Augie, for finally getting to join. I appreciate it and welcome. 
Okay, let me do this. So if you're just joining, I'm making beef and rice for the dogs. So I got the beef bone in the pressure cooker, and I'm trying to get it up to the temperature that, you know, it's like fully really cooked at. And then trying to read the comments. So I don't know if, if you don't know. I, when I look down here, I'm looking at the computer with all the comments. Wow, retiring at 37 is not a bad deal. Congrats, positive dedication on your uh, computer science PhD. Stir fried possum ankles. <laughs> you know what? I was walking in the. So I walk the dogs every day, like four times a day. And um, uh, we. I looked down at the gravel. It was a very rainy day. I looked down and I saw like a little like teeny tiny lobster or probably a crawdad or like crawfish right but it looked like a little lobster and it was like right at pearl you know pearl was walking and then it was like looking up and it like it looked like it wanted a hug but i think it felt threatened by pearl <laughs> but like it looked like this little tiny lobster wanting a hug from pearl it was very surprising it was in the parking lot um so somehow there's a little creek, very small creek near. Um, somehow it got out of the creek and into the driveway. <laughs> Big Al says, if I send 250 Patreon, could you put my photo on the fridge? Sure, unless it's explicit in some way. <laughs> Oh yeah, I must have missed where you're from. Isn't that Norwegian or Swedish? Talk for us. I've missed it because I was at I was away. Okay, hold on, I gotta do this. Uh, Ken says, "Do I miss my class A bounder?" No, <laughs> uh, I don't. Um, I have fond memories, uh, but I don't miss it. Um, there are things about that rig uh, that are beneficial for certain things, like earlier we were talking about the difference between, you know, fifth wheel versus class A, because somebody was thinking of going from their fifth wheel to a class A. Hold on, I need to test the temperature before it gets cool, otherwise i got to cook it again. Uh, Class A or C or B or whatever um, is if you're traveling frequently and you're going to be staying like some nights. Oh, perfect. Okay. And you're going to be staying some nights like in parking lots where you might need to drive away in the middle of the night. Uh, in that case, you know. Uh, when you live inside the coach and, and the driving is inside with you like where you sleep that's convenient whereas in a fifth wheel or any kind of trailer if you have to leave immediately or there's some sort of maybe security threat you'd have to like get out of your trailer and get in the truck right um so in that case those more contained uh, units are better and um those are also nicer if you're just traveling regularly because they're a little less to deal with with like hooking up um, uh, getting you know hooking up to leave right so a little bit more to deal with with a fifth wheel um, maybe with a regular trailer uh, so anyway I hope, hope that can help yeah Norwegian right that's what I thought talk for all but born in USA Okay. Yeah, 
my dogs are spoiled. They do get beef and bouillon flavored rice. <laughs> so, yes, Instapot would work great. Um, Instapot is basically a, the, the same exact thing as a pressure cooker, but it's just electric. So, um, I'm trying to, uh, so it's kind of late for me. I'm like beginning to zone out and I, I don't want to like, I don't know, be boring or something. So I, I guess, um, uh, we've been on here for over an hour. So I will, uh, what's my favorite dessert? Well, that's a fun question. You know what? I love desserts from like other countries. Like the first thing that came to my mind was, um, okay. I love like when you go to Indian restaurants and they have desserts. Um, I love, it's like these balls and like this white creamy stuff with pistachio. That's really good. And then they also have this other stuff, gulab jamun. That's like these balls and syrup is really good. Um, uh, I also love, uh, tiramisu so like any of these things i love stuff from like different countries um those are those probably uh oh and then my mom of course makes this uh raw blueberry pie so the the crust is baked but then she puts blueberries in oh with the this gel stuff she cooks and so pour that over the in fact i have the recipe on my blog <laughs> um oh so she pours the the stuff made from some blueberries over mostly fresh blueberries and then she lines it with like sweet and cream cheese oh man it's so good um so it's like a no bake except the crust it's a no bake uh, blueberry pie in fact if you want i just realized that i do have the recipe online if you're interested in that recipe from my mother raw no bake blueberry pie go to my website pippi no oh, i'm sorry Pippenings, P-I-P-P-E-N-I-N-G-S dot com. Go to the blog, and I think it's the very first blog I did, like six, five years ago. <laughs> I haven't actually done that many blogs since, so it shouldn't be hard to find. So anyway, I appreciate that that you said I was uh, uh, not boring. <laughs> yeah, I'm worried about tornadoes. I definitely watch the radar. Um... Okay, anyway, <laughs> Pop-Tarts and Twinkies. Apple pie with ice cream is very good, too. Okay, you guys, I'm going to say goodnight because I feel like I'm getting into a mental state where I shouldn't be on live camera because I'm just not beginning to not pay attention. But it was very fun to hang out with you guys. I always, uh, it's always like a big deal in my mind to start these live because they're very kind of stressful. But then when I say get going, it's very fun. I really enjoy talking to you guys. Um, I appreciate all your support, and I'm not just talking about financial support. I appreciate you guys just enjoying hanging out. Um, so thank you, and um, stay tuned for those other videos I was talking about. Uh, one, I've got a house uh, update coming up, and I'm working on a couple RV uh, repair videos so those will be out at some point and uh, appreciate it thank you have a good evening sleep well or for those in um, New Zealand that were on here you yeah, know have a good day good day good day mate and uh, and we'll see you later okay I always forget how do I turn this off